What's going on, everybody? Shane Willis, Pensacola Real Estate Expert, bringing you today's episode of Five Minutes in Real Estate. Um, again, we started last week going live on these. Uh, if you're listening on the podcast, get over to Facebook so you can see us live. Uh, it's facebook.com forward slash Shane Willis, the realtor. All right. So obviously got two shows going to be Facebook live today because we still have to shoot the How's the Market Pensacola. Um, so that's another reason to get over there and like the page. <laughs> Anyways, today's going to be actually be a little bit quick one, but I wanted to share some of the stats that came out and some of the uh, experts in the field talking about 2019 and where they think everything's going to be. Let me see if I can arrange this right. There we go. So experts are actually predicting a very strong finish to 2019. Uh, let's go. The deputy chief economist over at CoreLogic, they do a lot of real estate data. That's what they kind of do. Um, we saw the cool down happen a little bit, a little bit of uncertainty. And normally in August, I'll see that anyways, especially around here. Um, it's just because kids are back in school. So there's less uh, activity happening. But that's actually kind of changing now. I'm seeing a lot of my listings pick up activity with people wanting to come in, take a look. And I'm also seeing um, uh, an uptick in buyer request. So people want me to help them pick out a property, find a property for them. So I think that's going to be going for a while now. And he even goes on, Rafi goes on to say, if mortgage rates stay low, wages continue to grow because they have been, um, and inventory picks up. That's the one part of the piece of the puzzle that we've got to figure out how to do because a lot of price points here, our inventory is really, really, really low. All right. But they expect, he expects the U.S. housing market to stabilize even more throughout the rest of the year, even with all the other stuff we got going on with China and everything else. Uh, Lawrence Yoon, well, I listen to him all the time. He's a chief economist over at NAR. Comes out with some great stuff. Really, really dry. I guess he's just one of those economist type. He's just really dry. But um, he did say, hey, we expect the second half of the year to be notably better than the first half in terms of home sales, mainly because of mortgage rates. Very lower. The mortgage rates are, have dropped now. It's nothing for us to be back in the threes. Uh, which is weird. I know last year I was talking about on this show, on the podcast, I was talking about expecting to see interest rates at, the, at five by the end of 2019. Uh, and that was the path we were on. But then all of a sudden, something course corrected and we've got record low rates again. And this is just, um, according to Lawrence, we're, that's, that's fueling a lot of this. So uh, take advantage of that. If you're buying, if you're selling, if you're refinancing, take advantage of that. All right. These, I can't think they would last very long, all right? Freddie Mac, talking about the same thing. The drop in mortgage rates continues to stimulate the real estate market. Home purchase demand is up 5% from a year ago and is noticeably strengthened since the early summer months. The benefit of the lower mortgage rates is not only showing up in home sales, but also providing support for homeowner balance sheets via higher monthly cash flow and steadily rising home equity, all right? So that means that, hey, if we refinance, then you get a lower payment. Cool. You're also, that means that you get more cash flow coming into your house, right? And if that works out, yay, the same way on investment properties. We got a couple investment properties that I refinanced earlier this year and the cash flow just from that refinance, which didn't cost me hardly anything, wound up, you know, ad adding an additional $100, $150 a month in my bottom line every month. All right. So take advantage of this while you can. Um, and if you're looking to do that, move up, downsize, even side size and become that investor that you want to rent out your current home and just buy something different. That would be the time to kind of pull the trigger. All right. And especially as we get into fall. These are uh, inventory is probably going to be an issue. So if you're looking at liquidating anything and now, now is definitely the time to do that. All right. So bottom line. How's the market going to be strong? Pretty much rest of the year. It's going to be strong rest of the year. There's not much going to uh, change on that. I think about the only thing that I would be concerned with, and that's what I was telling you uh, at the beginning of the show, is inventory. <laughs> inventory. We've got to have some better inventory. Um, some of these properties, and if you stay and actually watch the show today, you'll see some of those price points, man, 40 houses, 50 houses total. And it's a uh, desirable price point but there's just not much inventory. So that's about the only thing scary. That means if you're in that price point that you could actually get a little bit more than you probably think. 
And there's a lot of people that have been surprised lately as I've been doing um, valuations for people that they've got more equity than they thought. So if you're even kicking around the idea, call me, reach out to me, put a comment on that, send me a, a direct message, whatever. All right, let's chat because uh, you probably have more equity than you thought. All right, that's all I got for you today. As always, if you've not subscribed to get tips, tricks, graphs, infographics, all kinds of stuff that I give out, all kinds of goodies, get over to 5minutesinrealestate.com. That's 5minutesinrealestate.com. Also, like the Facebook page. If you're watching this on Facebook, yay, like the page. If you're watching on YouTube, I put a link to the Facebook page <laughs> on the YouTube. So go like the Facebook page. I'm doing a lot over there, doing a lot of live stuff over there too. Um, and finally, if you found any value in this, if you found any value in this episode or any other episode, do me a favor, like, comment, share. All right, so I can get the word out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.